Hey guys, it's Anne, and today we are going to take a look in on the DIY stack worm compost bin. This is the one that I put together some years ago out of uh, three 10 gallon totes and uh, then glued some little screens over the holes I drilled. Works pretty good. Uh, let's see what they're doing today. Let's see. like we've got some good castings. I know it's pretty new since we started this again. Looks like they are eating this uh, avocado seed. Let's see what else we can find in here. I did add more worms after I captured them from the last harvest. So this does have a little bit more in the way of worms than it did previously. Let's see what we've got here. I did kind of go through and throw a little bit of food at them. Uh, looks like we've had some takers for the uh, for the pumpkin. I don't know if there's going to be. It was not a frozen pumpkin, so I didn't expect to have a whole lot of takers on it. Just a little. So we'll tuck that back in here and look and see if there's any of the other feedings in here. Let's see. Got the avocado that had a little bit of flesh left on it. Not that I'm jinxing myself, but I don't see as many mites as I normally would see with avocado that had some flesh left in it. Let's see. Oh, springtails, of course. The banana. Looks like uh, I managed to get in here in enough time to see a nice worm ball. That's nice. So I don't know that this particular bin is going to need any more food today. Inside of there, there's even some little critters. But yeah, it looks like they've still got some food left. I think for a while there I was having a hard time keeping up with them. And now it seems like we've, we've hit a spot where maybe they don't need any more. That banana's got enough life left in it. Should keep them busy for another week. And let's just kind of try and bury, bury everything back up. Let's look and see what the next level down is doing. Okay, here we are on the level two in the middle here. And this looks pretty wet, which is, is good for this time of year just because things dry out so fast that I would rather err on the side of being a little bit wet this time of year than dry simply because it seems to turn on a dime how fast things dry out when the furnace gets going. We've got a couple days of warmish weather here in the 50s, so that might be why things are staying a little wetter. But as soon as that furnace starts kicking on every five minutes, then these guys are going to dry out. Seems like they still have some banana stems or something here. So it seems like they're doing okay as well. All right, let's look at the next layer down. All right. So I think we decided to put some of the long-term food in here. Looks like the little tiny wisps are getting inside the corn there. Some of the long-term food, it seems like it makes more sense to put it in here because it stays at a really good moisture level and hardly ever gets dry here all the way on the bottom. So if I've got food that's going to take six months or so to get done, I'm probably better off keeping it in this lower section here. Yep. I don't know if you saw it before they jumped back in, but there was worms in there. Let's see if we can catch them this time. Yep. There we go. There's a big one. They just love boring through the middle of it. 
And it's interesting because you can't always see that there's a hole in the side. All right, these guys seem to be doing really good. I'm glad I got in here in enough time for us to see what they were doing. It's hard to catch the rate of when things need to be fed if you, every time you go back, then it's 100% gone. So that's good. I'm glad. Let's put these guys back together. Right now, when it's basically new, uh, it's pretty light for me to pick up. But when this thing gets full, holy cow, it gets to be about 20 or 30 pounds per layer. All right, well, we already talked about that this didn't need any more food. But I do need to find a cover for this. Since this is one of the bins with the, the blue worms, the European night crawlers, and the red wigglers, I can use my leftover bubble wrap from last year without worrying about them uh, cross-contaminating with uh, cocoons or with worms or anything. All right, well, if you thought this bin was interesting, the DIY stacked bin, I can put a link to the other video where I fed last time up here in the top. And if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.